chaotic. I think I'm gonna try to go through the main entrance. I was trying to go in the back way, so this is the main entrance. And there's a long checked into my hotel, the Dar Aman, and I was told, oh, it's nice, that I have a view of the Colosseum from my room. I'll check it out later. <laughs> in the town of El Jem and the tourist infrastructure, it bears as non-existent. Hard to believe there's a Roman Colosseum here, but there is, and that's why I'm here. Um, I feel like it's pretty chaotic outside. Just standard Tunisian small town. And, uh, graffiti, tobacco shops, mosques, and people hanging out. So, uh, I'm almost at the Coliseum. And it's gonna be a uh, Wow, I'm actually here. I'm at the Colosseum. Can't believe this. This is not Rome, folks. This is the Colosseum in El Gem, Tunisia. And I'm very excited to be here. Hopefully I can get in. Wow, I finally made it all this way to see the Colosseum. just got my ticket to enter the Colosseum and I'm really excited to to enter Salaam Alaikum <laughs> you're camera shy no no uh, ticket there. to him ah, okay the, the, the scanner. okay scanner okay so they take their security very yeah. seriously here yes sure yes. all right take my bag yes. yeah right. yep <laughs> <laughs> all right what's your name brother uh, Fauzi. Fauzi, Salaam oh, Alaikum. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay. okay. Everything good? Nothing yeah. to worry about? <laughs> Sorry? It's okay? In the, the bag. In the bag. <laughs> no bomb. Okay, no problem. <laughs> no bomb. <laughs> okay. Okay, Salaam. Thank you, brother. Alright, I'm in. I'm at the Coliseum. This is crazy. made it to the Colosseum. This is beyond words. We're not in Rome. There are no hordes of people and 
it's amazingly gorgeous and intact all right i am going to explore every inch of this place today since the strip was about El Gem and the Colosseum of southern Tunisia. A lot of people just go to the big cities and you know, take in some of the common tourist spots and sites, but I decided to, to do something a little different. And here I am. So I just entered El Gem and or they call it Siamat El Gym, rather. The amphitheater, they call it. And it's definitely big. A huge place. Wow. Of course, I can hear the cats. Can you imagine the history? Roman Empire. About 2,000 years old. Incredible. So I'm going up the steps of the Colosseum. City behind me. Ooh, these are steep. The Romans definitely got their work out. There's hardly anyone here. I'm at the Colosseum in Tunisia. El Jam. This is a Roman Colosseum. Walking down some steps here. That was really nice. It's a really nice view. There's some factories back there, so there's some smoke coming out, but still looks pretty impressive. Not a bad day in the Colosseum in Tunisia. Some wonderful Tunisian friends. Oh. Hey, hello. <laughs> so introduce yourselves. Uh, welcome to Algem. My name is Kamar. My name is Shams. My name is Samia. From Algem. Amazing. <laughs> so the, they're locals, these yes. two, and they're they're enjoying the Colosseum, which they should. Like yeah. we sometimes we live in a town and uh, we don't enjoy sometimes. the yeah. the things in our own town, right? Yeah. And you are from Nebi, oh, and I should go visit. 
yes. the town oui. because it's very beautiful. Oui. <laughs> so, je uh, ne parle pas français. Is yeah. that correct? Oui. Yeah. Uh, I oublié tout. I forgot everything. So here we are in the Coliseum and thanks for sharing Thank your you. time Thank with you. me. <laughs> Wonderful. This is probably the best floor. It's the third level here at the Coliseum. Really enjoying this beautiful evening in El Gem and very pleased with with the visit to the Colosseum. It's been uh, it's been pretty amazing. <laughs> wow, what a lovely view. This is where it's at. Happy to be here at the Colosseum right now. It's just me. Everybody's left for the day. I have the whole Colosseum to myself. Pretty crazy. very amazing visit to the Colosseum and now I'm going to to exit <laughs> well, I can find it I think it's down there somewhere sort the, the exit all right I'm leaving the Colosseum I'm literally the last person in the Colosseum, I still want to go. See you later. So that's it. Bye bye, Colosseum. That was pretty amazing. Being the only one in there with the cats. Is the cat follow, follow me out? Is that the same cat? Or is it a different one? So. Until next time. crazy I'm at a coffee shop called La Symphonie uh, in front of the Colosseum so yeah, it's a little dark but maybe you can make it out up there so here I am what a day uh, visited the Colosseum and now having some coffee with a view to die for breakfast of champions my gosh definitely not in Morocco Dar Amar in El Jem I think uh, Tunisia does breakfast better without a doubt had a little bit of a slow start to my day I'm in El Jem it's about noon and I'm heading to the uh, archaeological museum so I'll give you an update So just arrived at the Archaeological Museum in El Jem. Um, I just realized that you can visit the museum on the same ticket as the Colosseum if it's the same day. Fortunately, I was there yesterday at the Colosseum, so I had to buy another ticket, but it's only four bucks. So already seen some Romans. So let's check this museum out. 
Yeah, this core chart is quite nice. Can't get over how elaborate this museum is. These are mosaics from wow, lots of figures here. Danosiak mosaic representing masks, early birds from the third century AD. Maison du Cilin uh, no, that's where it was found. Mortuary masks. This is called the Owl Room. A lot of ceramics here. Fourth century, second century. BC, wow, as well. Very elaborate museum. Some statues. Head of Lucius Verus and Annius Verus. Head of Pan, a woman's head, second century AD. El Gem is the third largest Colosseum in the world. And I'm at the museum in El Gem, and these mosaics are amazing. This is Dionysus drunk, being transported in a chariot, drawn by a centaur. Wow. And this is from 3rd century AD. And the Colosseum was built in the 2nd century AD by a Roman commander called Gordian. I did not expect such a beautiful museum here. It's actually quite big as well, very well maintained. And there are hardly any people here. Second century AD. Check this out. Lions devouring a boar. Wow. Look how elaborate that piece is. Gruesome but elaborate. museum and you're the in charge There's a Roman museum. <laughs> Mosaics behind me. I came here to see the Roman ruins, but now I'm stuck with a kitty. Such is life. This is a very impressive courtyard.
museum, archaeological museum in Tokyo. Definitely worth a visit. It's uh, exceeding my expectations tremendously. Let's see what we have here. Oh my gosh. It's like a little city here. Yeah, so it wasn't just the Colosseum, right? So there were several buildings like Citadel, if you will. And oh, this is a must-see in Elgem. Must-see. Mind-boggling. How easy it is to... Wow, beautiful columns here. Wow. Empire fell and there were many different empires and stages to the occupation of this land. Phoenicians, Byzantine I think as well and of course um, the Arabs. Uh, funnily enough you can hear the Azan from the mosque that's straight ahead and the juxtaposition of this is baffling almost poetic pretty cool place and I'm glad that I, I came here today definitely do not miss the museum of Belgium, the archaeological museum I did not know about this I didn't have any expectations and look at this beautiful museum with intact Roman columns and homes, houses. Definitely a must see. And a little tip, you can use the same ticket to get into the Colosseum and the museum on the same day. So I had to buy a second ticket because I was at the Colosseum yesterday, but yeah. beautiful. So this is actually called the House of Africa. This is uh, this was reconstructed, but no artificial items were used in the reconstruction. It was badly demolished, apparently. It is the uh, largest and most intact of the uh, Roman ruins in Africa, or houses as far as houses are concerned. The Colosseum is a different story. So I'm finishing the tour of the Archaeological Museum and it definitely exceeded my expectations and um, definitely recommend visiting this museum if you're here to see the amphitheater, the Colosseum that is. Hey folks, I just finished a visit to the museum. I'm going to the bus station or the shared taxi station. But I just wanted to mention that I met these lovely Tunisian girls at the Colosseum yesterday and Kamal, one of them, made me some local food and they just showed up and gave me my lunch. Amazing! I mean, if that's not hospitality, what is? So, Tunisian people, they get 10 out of 10 from me for being kind and welcoming to uh, visitors and strangers. I wonder if that's the main mosque of uh, El Gem or not. Looks pretty nice, so I'm trying to find the the uh, shared taxi station now. All right, here goes. Au revoir. Thank you. All right, this is the Gouad station. 
in uh, LGM, much, much smaller, less chaotic. So, all right, let's do this. So I'm on the shared, shared van for Susa. Susa's way across it, not Susa, we're crossing it wrong, so yeah, I made it, so it's pretty painless. The van's about half full, so we have to wait for passengers to fill up and then we can leave. That's what my guess is, so basic van. Here we go, here we go. All right, this is good news. I only waited about 10 minutes and uh, we're off even though the bus is not full. You can see. So then I'm going to see it next to me. So, yeah. All right, folks, we just arrived in Suse. I made a new friend, Andres. De Colombia. De Colombia. De Bogota, un rolo. Rolo. Genial. Y uh, vamos a explo ex explorar. We're going to explore. Jesus Spanish all of a sudden. <laughs> well, we're gonna explore Suse. We're gonna go to the Medina right now. This was the terminal. I have to get cover tomorrow to go back to Tunis. So, all right, let's go to the main road and find our way to the Medina.